you describe him for me? He pretty tall, over six foot. He kind of reminds me of a skinny version of Santa Claus. Okay, and he showed you a gun? Yeah, and he could have put it on. So I'm like, you know, that's not a problem. I'll put it on for you. What are you? A federal marshal. Okay. Congratulations. That's a felony. The guy in a suit? Yeah. Why don't you guys go and see if he tries to take something else? But he took the phone display last time. Yeah, he took it on Sunday. Sunday. I don't know. I went and locked it up. I don't know. It's done now. Yeah. See it's that. a commitment now. Oh, yeah. you, what are you doing? What you call vacation? No, I, uh, I I went to Chicago over the weekend. I just finished that. But when did you get that done? Uh, like three months ago. It's been a long time. Yeah. We gotta go talk to this guy right here. Freaking! I guess he's full of. Yeah, we got the video and everything. It's definitely in the suit. There it goes. Hey. Hey. You hear from my old man? Yes. We all know, man. We all know. I'm not. No. Okay. All right. What are you? A federal marshal. Okay. All yeah, right. That's what we had to ask. No. Okay. Just, just, we don't want you reaching for anything. No, I'm not reaching for anything. If you're a federal marshal, you understand what we're doing, I, right? Absolutely. Just. Do you have your federal marshal ID? No. So okay. you're carrying a weapon with no ID on you? No. Because I just stepped out of my house to okay. get this character. Do you have a number we can call for your supervisor? No. Okay. I got to so take this for you just uh, for safety. Handcuffing. For what? Until we figure out what's going on. You have a weapon. You have no ID on you. It's not a real weapon. You're carrying a fake weapon. Yeah. And you're a federal marshal. No. He's got a little battery. Are you not? No. Congratulations. You're an impersonated your police officer. That's a federal offense. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. That's a felony. Look at I just. Good eye, yeah. Alex. What's the story? Why are you carrying around a fake gun? I'm a limousine driver. And I thought you were a federal marshal. Hey, yeah. here, you got a badge that says U.S. Marshal. You're claiming to be U.S. Marshals. You have a badge, which, what does that say on it? Marshal. So why are we carrying around fake stuff? Which, you know it's illegal. No, I didn't know it was illegal. <laughs> yes, 
you are displaying yourself as a law enforcement officer. We just asked you, are you in law enforcement? You said, yes, no. I'm a U.S. Marshal. I, you know, that is, that's illegal. That's a felony. Oh, absolutely not. We don't play around with this. I, 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 I do want to I deal with all sorts of clowns on the... On but the you're displaying yourself as a marshal. You're identifying yourself as a marshal. You're wearing a badge that's fake, that you know is not real, and you're carrying around a fake gun. What do you think people are supposed to think of you? They're going to think you're a law enforcement officer. And then you're saying you're a U.S. Marshal. But this is why I'm in the car. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and have a seat. Do you have any more weapons on you? No, I don't have. Do you have your ID on them? No, I got some credit card. Here, let me put this over here. Lift your leg off for me. Let me see the other one. Stand up for me. You want to contact the marshals? What's in here? What? These are kind of uh, one of those red things. All right, go ahead and have a seat, sir. What's your name? John O'Grady. What's your date of birth, Mr. O'Grady? 11-9-1956. if it's a BB gun. I didn't know that. It's not the fact that you're carrying a BB gun, it's what you said. And the fact that you're carrying this, you're carrying that badge. Come on. Like, do you think people are going to stop and ask if this is a BB gun? No, I, I don't stop. No, what I'm saying is, do you think anybody's going to stop and ask if this is a BB gun? It looks like a real gun, doesn't it? Well, all, all of them do. It looks like my gun. It all BB guns. Yeah, but saying. let's say you decide that you're going to show this someone this gun. I would never do that. It doesn't matter. You, you're missing the point. No, I, I, I get your point. Albert, you, right. you end up getting hurt or getting somebody else hurt because you... Okay. A claim so we're going to be calling the complainant and let the voicemail. The number that's provided doesn't seem like it's a cell phone, possibly a landline phone number. Which one? The one with this one here. The one on the right? This right one, yeah. I got a problem. Okay. Right now. What's going to happen to me? Well, right now. <laughs> Sometimes we say the wrong things at the wrong time. And no, that's I know. What, I, I, that's I, what we're finding ourselves right now. I'm finding out, you know? finding out that I've really made an ass of myself. Um, you know, I don't want to go to jail for being an asshole. Well, uh, it's not. You, people don't go to jail for being an asshole. No, I know that. Uh, yeah, you're gonna stand, you're gonna have to stand by until the other officer comes, right? Because my key's not working. Okay. My key don't even fit in there. It didn't seem right the way he was holding that. Yeah. Pressed against himself. Oh, good. Is he come? I'm gonna get a hold of him. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna call him. come over here. Yeah, yeah. that is a, a real bad on the marshals come over here. I'll tell you right now. I'm it's sorry, a little, it's a little too deep right here. This is uh, if we were to just say, "Hey, I'm a marshal," and then later on you didn't you you didn't carry all that stuff with you, the fact that you told officers that you're marshal and you're carrying a badge and a gun. Well, you would have seen it. 
It doesn't matter. The fact is that you lied in the beginning. Well, you, I, you identified yourself. You identified yourself. Well, yeah. I, I apologize for that. So that was stupid. most likely, that's not the first time you're going around saying that you're a cop. No, it's it is. You're going around I, playing I, cop. I have never uh, had this. No, yeah. what he's doing is he's going into Best Buy, stealing a phone, and, he says and this way they're not looking at him because they see his little lapel pin in his badge. That's but what he's doing. I've been in here hundreds of times. I know. I'm sure. And you went in here the other day, and according to these gentlemen, you stole an iPhone. I did not steal an iPhone. That was my license I went in there because uh, I had a auto box. Which I couldn't get put on that. So is if the if the video if the video shows you stealing an iPhone, what does that mean? I didn't steal an iPhone. I was looking at iPhones, but I didn't steal anything. They got you stealing an iPhone. They got you on video. I. What, what do you think we're here for? We just didn't show up for. We didn't pick you out of a hat. Yeah. Here's my question, Mr. O'Grady. You said you're a limo driver, but you don't have a limo license. No, your license is suspended. And you have a class E operator's license. You don't have a limousine driver's license. I have a limousine driver's license. Do you have your limo here? It's out in the um, car park. I was on my way to go to a job. That's me done for the day. That's you done for a couple of days. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is not the only time he's been uh, flashing yeah. himself like this. Can you get a picture of him? A photo out? All right, we'll do it. He said you, you can buy any badge online, I think. Oh, yeah. So he he's, said. His mistake was telling us that he was a. Oh, absolutely. Martian. So, 1015 for a personal officer and just uh, for the case to Gleif or the case on the Gleifer, and he'll go to Marshalls. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised. Let me ask you this. Did you announce it yet? No, not yet. Let me ask you this. And be Around honest, because right 40. now this is the time to be honest. 40. Do you have any lights on your car? Blue lights and stuff like that? Are you sure? Absolutely. So, if you are... Uh, you can go look at the car. It's, can I? Yeah, absolutely you can. Okay. So when I look at your car, I'm not going to see no blue lights on it? Okay. Anything else that says you're a marshal or anything like that? No. You don't have a heavy vest? No. No? No. No more badges? No. I can look for that? You can look for anything you like. Um, I I started off collecting badges. Yeah, but you, if you would have said something like that earlier, but in, you identify I, yourself uh, as a marshal, and I mean, you're carrying around that little badge, you can't do that. Those sort of things... United States Marshal. Shall we take that? Do you guys want to go ahead and issue him the trespassing while we're here? Because he's going to come with us. Huh? You're being in a, you're being issued a trespass warning. Best Buy. You come back to Best Buy a period of one year, subject to arrest. You understand that? Yes. Okay. We should do more than one year. That's a year. First day. <laughs> hey, there's another opportunity to make. You guys got a little plastic bag? Can we get a little plastic bag so we don't walk around with that gun out? Oh, you got one? Yeah. Hey, what's up, brother? Bro, you still here? Yeah, man. How's it going? Everything good? Yeah, man. I did on me, man. Yeah, man. He was going to be hit with the marshal. Going around, saying he is. Get a fake marshal bag. I've seen that right here. No, he had a badge here and he had a fake gun. There's, if you want a statement, we have a report back in here a couple days ago and was trying to buy an iPhone case. And he goes and opened up his jacket and showed that badge and says, Oh, well, you know, there's a lot of things I know how to fix. I just don't know how to get this phone in my case and badge and show one of our associates who's here right now, if you want a statement. Let me ask the arresting officer. He, he's in here. 
down the employees he's a marshal and showing his badge. Trevor, Alpha 33. Who'd he go? Alpha 35. The guy's here. I called my boss to tell my company of my job. Nope. Let me see. Right now. Which employees? One of the employees is here. He was here the other day and he freaking badged him. Get a statement from that person. Absolutely. Take these powers away. Sure. Um, you want me to grab that uh, witness? That 14? No. Yeah. swear the statement you're going to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. I'm here talking to you about an older gentleman that came into your store the other day. Do you remember him? Yes, I do. Okay. Can you describe him for me? He pretty tall, over six foot. He kind of reminds me of a skinny version of Santa Claus. He had glasses. He had a black suit. Um, I remember he had a pin, and I remember he showed me his gun. Um, do you remember what the pin said? I just remember I had like a little star, I believe. Okay. I didn't read it. I just saw it was a circle pin. Okay, did you see any other badges? Mm -hmm. Not that I noticed. Okay, and he showed you a gun? Yeah. Did he identify himself? No. He didn't say what, where, if he worked for anybody or anything like that? No. No, the way, the, the reason he showed it to me was he came in with an otter box, the defender, the very bulky one. He didn't know how to put it on. He told me his wife couldn't put it on, he couldn't put it on. So I'm like, you know, that's not a problem. I'll put it on for you. And I was like, let me show you. So if you ever need to take it off, you know how to. He's like, yeah, I can't take that apart. But I know how to take this apart. And that's what he showed me the gun. Okay, whatever. I put it on for him. And that was pretty much about it. Okay. Did he say he was a police officer or a law enforcement or anything like that? Nope, nothing. Okay. He wasn't buying anything. He already bought the otter box. He said his wife couldn't put it on. He couldn't put it on. He just needed help. Okay. And that was really it. All right. Thank you. No problem. Where's the camera? Oh, wow. Raise your right hand for me. Can you state your name? Rob Suleiman. And what's your position here at Best Buy? Computer supervisor. Computer supervisor. I'm speaking to you today about an incident that occurred around March 21st, 2018. Do you remember that? Yeah, with the uh, U.S. Marshall closing incident. Yeah. What I'm speaking to you about specifically is a day or two before that, he was suspected of stealing an iPhone from one of the displays. Mm -hmm. Did you recall seeing a video on that? Yes, I did. He yanked it off on the table. He was looking at it, he, he turned around and yanked it off, and walked away and put it in his left jacket suit pocket, and okay. he walked off. Now, the person you saw in the video, how did you come to believe it was the same person from the next following days? Because it was the same guy, he had the same suit on, same clothes, everything, gray beard. Okay. Gray beard. Did he have any distinguishing items on him that would have stood out for you? Um, just saw a little suit, it was the same suit he had on. Okay. Otherwise, I had uh, no, no key 
flashed a badge to one of the girls here, um, showing that he had a badge in her, but otherwise in the suit, I was like, okay. okay. Same height, same build. Same guy. Same age. Same 100% certain it was the same guy. Very certain. Same exact guy. Okay, thank you. That concludes. No problem. The alarm didn't go off? <laughs> Blue lights, do you? Yeah, nobody's going to stop a guy that's dressed like that. Wow. Flashlight. The only thing missing is handcuffs. I'm sure we'll find it. Radio. Why would you have to move this phone? Maybe just that phone. Probably six hundred and eight hundred and eight hundred. Can't take this way far. He can fake this as on a radio. Do you want the radio? Do you want to stick that bag in the trunk? What? The bag? Yeah. So we don't come back for a 21? Six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. <laughs> Would this matter? No, that's just uh No I'm saying oh hold on. But I'm saying like uh Hey Fletty. You might want to take a picture of that and let them know his license is suspended. No, this guy's going around wrong. He was doing something. Oh, 40. 40 North West 3rd Street, Point Reach Boulevard. Mile is 425.
take a picture of it, man. Of course. Oh, you did? Yeah. No, I mean a car. Do the front and back and kick so they can create a bolo. iPhone cases, shoe shine. You see, there's a lot of merchandise in here. Yeah, nobody's gonna stop a guy that's dressed like that. No, it's just a, uh... You want to stick that back in the trunk? What? The bag? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. You might want to take a picture of that and let them know his license is suspended. Oh, sorry. Morning, I'm on 3rd Street, Point Beach Boulevard. Mile is We can't, we can't arrest him based on your yeah. video. We have to do a photo lineup. And we can trespass him. We can identify him. Then we can go from there. But did you file a report for the phone the other day? I'm not sure. My dad came out right now. Same old, living the dream. How you doing?
I'll speak to. Just come right up here. We're going to go right in the office over on the left. Right over here. Okay. We're going to go right over here. You have an ID on you? Uh, not on me, no. Why don't you have an ID on you? You're an adult. I have it on this. Is he a law enforcement officer? How'd you get here? My car. You don't have your driver's license? I lost it. Do you have any weapons on you? Yes. Now, okay, where's where it I'm right here. Okay, so we're done. Are you a police officer? I'm not. No. Okay. What are you? Federal Marshal. Okay. You have an ID, but you don't have an ID? No. I'm not reaching for anything. If you're a federal marshal, you understand what we're doing. I absolutely. Do you have your federal marshal ID? No. So you're carrying a weapon with no ID on you? No. Because I just stepped out of my house to get this character. Do you have a number we can call for your supervisor? No. So we can't call him. For what? Until we figure out what's going on. You have a weapon, you have no ID on you. It's not a real weapon. You're carrying a fake weapon. Yes. And you're a federal marshal. So he's got a little bag. Are you not? You need to make up your mind. That's a federal offense. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. That's a felony. Look, I just... Good eye, Alex. Oh, I like a set of keys. What's the story? Why are you carrying around a fake gun? I'm a limousine driver. I thought you were a federal marshal. Hey, here, you got a badge that says U.S. Marshal. You claim to be U.S. Marshal. You have a badge. What does that say on it? Marshal. So why are we carrying our fake stuff? You know it's illegal. No, I didn't know it was illegal. Yes, you are displaying yourself as a law enforcement officer. No, I'm not. We just asked you, are you a law enforcement You said, yes, I'm a U.S. Marshal. That is, that's illegal. That's a felony. Oh, absolutely not. We don't play around with this. Okay. I'm not, I, I'm not, I drive a limousine. Uh, well, I deal with all sorts of clowns on the. On the right, you're displaying yourself as a marshal. You're identifying yourself as a marshal. You're wearing a badge that's fake, that you know is not real, and you're carrying around a fake gun. What do you think people are supposed to think of you? They're going to think you're a law enforcement officer. And then and you're not, you're not questioning you twice when you walk into Best Buy and steal stuff. Yeah. Do you have your ID on him? No, he's got some credit cards. Here, let me put this over here. You want to contact the marshals? I'd kill him. Uh, absolutely. That looks like a good badge to me. What's in here? This is kind of one of those red things. Let me see if uh, the marshals want to contact him. Yeah. What's your name? John O'Grady. What's your date of birth, Mr. O'Grady? 1956. That's all. Social Security number. Check on a white male, name and date of birth. Oh, Last name is O'Grady, Oscar, Golf, Romeo, Alpha, Delta, Yankee. First name is John, Juliet, Oscar, Hotel, November. 56, it's a white male. Tell me this is 11 9 56. Tell me. You gotta pull those apart. Tell me. Hey, man. Hey, uh, myself, Letty, and Marino are out here at uh, Best Buy. Uh, the, it was a delay uh, theft. He actually did before, but they never filed a report. They just want to trespass. But while we're escorting him, he has a small U.S. Marshal uh, little uh, lapel Can. pin on. Alex knows the bu a bulge on his right side. And Alex asks if he's armed. He goes, yes. And we go, you law enforcement? He goes, yes, we just marshal. Well, it's a fake gun. 
The badge looks real, and he said he's a limo driver. He is not a marshal. So, do you want us to contact marshals and have them come look at this? This, this badge looks... Oh, yeah, absolutely. This guy, I mean, the badge looks authentic. doesn't matter. The fact is that you lied in the beginning. Well, I, you, you identified yourself you identified as a U.S. Marshal. I, I apologize for that. So that was stupid. most likely, that's not the first time you're going around saying that you're a cop. No, it's, it is. You're going around I, playing I, cop. I have never uh, had this. No, uh, what he's doing is he's going into Best Buy, stealing a phone, yeah. and this way they're not looking at him because they yeah. see his little lapel yeah. pin in his badge. That's I, what he's doing. I've been in here hundreds of times. I know. I'm sure. And you went in here the other day and you reported to these gentlemen. You stole an Apple. Is that me? I didn't see it on my phone. I was looking at my phone. What you doing? They got you stealing an iPhone. They got you on video. I, what, what do you think we're here for? We just didn't... Go we didn't pick you out of a hat. Yeah. Here's my question, Mr. O'Grady. You said you're a limo driver, but you don't have a limo license. It's in my car. No, your license is suspended. And you have a Class E operator's license. You don't have a limousine driver's license. I have a limousine driver's license. Do you have your limo here? It's off in the um, car park. I was on my way to go to a job. That's me done for the day. That's you done for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not the only time you can uh, fly in. Can we get a picture of him? A bolo out? All right, we'll do it. He said you, you buy any badge online. Oh, yeah. So he said his mistake was telling us that he was a. Oh, absolutely. So 1015 and for personnel officer and just uh, forward the case to Gle or the case on the Gleisher and he'll give it to Marshals. Okay. Okay. I want to be surprised. Let me ask you this. Did you announce it yet? No, no, no. Let me ask you this. And be no, honest. No, 40. Is the time to be honest. 40. Do you have any lights in your car? No, no, no. Blue lights or something like that? Absolutely. So, if you are... Uh, you can go look at the car. It's... Can I? Yeah, absolutely you can. Happy. You guys white man or black man? When I look at your car, I'm not going to see no blue lights. No, no. Black. Anything else that says you're a marshal or anything like that? No. White male. White male. No. Have a white male 1715 no. no. reference. I'm representing an officer. You can look for anything you like. Um, I I started off collecting badges. Yeah, but... Uh, you can look for anything you like. Uh, I mean, I started off collecting badges. Yeah, but... If you would have said something like that earlier, but if you identify yourself uh, as a marshal, I mean, carrying around a little badge, you can't do that. Those sort of things... United States Marshal. Do you guys want to go ahead and issue me a trespass on the Huh? You guys can do it. I'll just take a picture. 
You're being in a, you're being issued a trespass warning. Best Buy. You come back to Best Buy a period of one year, you're subject to arrest. You understand that? Yes. Okay. We should do more than one year. Statutes a year. First day. <laughs> hey, there's another opportunity to make. Never mind. Wait, let me grab your name. Good. Yeah. Oh. Can you catch a break? Um, no, that's no. Not. Anyone? Yeah. Michelle, That's one thing. Being a, I mean, I'm not a criminal. I don't mean to be a criminal. Uh, I, You're a felon right now. Medicine? Yeah, Medicine, Michelle. That's a felony. What you did about what you just um, September 27. That was okay. an error on my part, and it was a word. September 27. I'm sorry. Not an HRLA report. So Everyone's HRLA sorry when they get arrested. No, of, co of course they are. You knew what you were doing when you put that weapon on the side of your... Uh, your I'll do it, I'll do it. 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 I'll do